Caution, this video is intended to make you think. Hey, Motivational Coco, how you doing? Hey, boys and girls. <clears throat> I have a question for you, or a thought for you. It's about religion. It really doesn't matter which God, which, you know, which specific brand of Christianity, if you're Christian, you are. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything other than geography. People don't understand the premise that the, the reason why they have the religion they have is because of their geography. For example, if you were born south of the United States, you have an 85 to 95 percent chance that you'd be Catholic because Everything south of the United States is 85 to 95% Catholic. <clears throat> if you're Polish, probably Catholic. If you're Irish, probably Catholic, could be Protestant, but that's about, you know, I mean, you know, Anglican, it's either Anglican or um, Catholic. I mean, German, Lutheran, or Catholic, I mean, dependent upon your nationality has more to do with it. But if you were born in Southeast Asia, I could pretty much guarantee you'd be Buddhist. And if you were born in Palestine or Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan, you'd be Muslim, period. If you were born in Israel, you could be Christian, Muslim, or um, Jewish, depending on pretty much the neighborhood you, you were born in. But religion is more to do with geography than it does with anything else. And most people can't get their minds wrapped around that. So ponder that thought because that's something that you have to be, you know, people are completely intolerant of everything. You know, if you're a Christian, you're intolerant of, you know, of, of Muslims because they're just extremist radicals. Well, yeah, 300 years ago, so were Christians. You know, 300 years ago, you know, Christians were still burning witches and they were eviscerating, you know, heretics. And if you think about it, you know, the uh, Islam is just a little behind because they were, you know, they have made major strides in the last 30 or 40 years because of um, oil. And they're suddenly, they're, they're suddenly, Things are happening in their culture that are allowing them to, to put a big push on. So yeah, if you think of where Christianity was two, three hundred years ago, that's kind of where Islam is now. But the biggest problem with religion is, is everybody hates everybody. You know, um, even within the ranks of Christianity, there's infighting between the Catholics and the Protestants and the Lutherans and the um, the Anglican, and I mean, there's there's some there's some cohesion, but there's also a lot of arguments. You know, the the uh, the the uh, Baptists and the uh, uh, Mormon. So so it's like there's even no there's no cohesive message. There's you know you would think there would be because it's the same basic concept, but of course they're doing it wrong. It makes me smile. But once again, geography. It's all about geography. Because I, I guarantee you, if you were born in Palestine, or if you were born in um, Iran or Iraq, you'd be Muslim. I mean, there's a, you know, it's a very minor percentage of Christians, and they're pretty much persecuted and killed. So there you go. And the reason why the Muslims weren't, aren't here in any large numbers, or the Jews for that, is the same reason. Um, persecution, uh, early persecution by our forefathers, same thing. I mean, you know, the Puritans, I mean, my gosh, you know, I think they would be tolerant of the 
the Jews are the, uh, of Islam? Absolutely not. So, religion, everything to do with geography, not much to do with God. It's just politics, control, and money. Power, control, money. Power, control, money. So that's all about it. Talk to you. Bye.